Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product and you can see this is smart controller B24 and in this controller we have designed a similar function of B16 but this has 24 channel relay output and 24 channel digital input and it can use for home assistant and used by ESP home and also support KCS V3 firmware and used by Tuya application and uh, home assistant and uh, task motor and uh, Kinkoni KCS assistant and in this video I will show you this controller hardware details and uh, different solution of this controller and let's look at the hardware details firstly okay let's look at uh, this is B24 smart controller uh, 24 channel relay controller and you can see uh, this support install on the DIN rail so you can install on the DIN rail and your power distribution box and let's look at the in front of this box and this is aluminium shell and you can see uh, this is relay output uh, this is uh, relay output 24 relay uh, at this green terminal and this is ESP32 Wi-Fi antenna, extended antenna and this is a Tuya, you can see uh, this is a Tuya Wi-Fi antenna at here and this one you can see the 24 digital input part just used by dry contact signal and for long distance max support 500 meters by this digital input and this one you can see that is RS485 A and B and this is for analog input uh, two channel for uh, one, uh, 0 to 5 voltage and two channel for 4 to 20 milliampere and this is, you can see uh, this is ESP32 download button and the reset button and the power LED green power LED and this one you can see that have a free GPL uh, this free GPL four free GPL have pull up resistance you can connect with some one wire device directly and this you can see that the power supply for DC 12 volt power supply and at here you can also see this free GPL but this free free GPL without pull up resistance just connect with the ESP32 pin directly and this one you can see the USB-C that is download firmware by USB-C cable and this is Ethernet and Ethernet part and this you can see uh, the power LED and the Tuya network state and the Tuya reset button and the config Tuya signal uh, by this button and this red LED is 24 relay state uh, will be on and off relay state and you can see this is menu country button so this menu country button uh, control relay directly without firmware and without software so if you control and your network and your system and the software is broken but this menu country button also can turn on and turn off your load directly because it's physical without any software and this is OL OLED display that will show the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet IP address and the Tuya state and the sound sensor state at here by this screen okay let's power on and I will show you it works in Home Assistant and works in KCS and Kinkoni Cloud Server so all application support B24 smart controller and uh, you can see this green terminal this green terminal also used by this removal so that will be easy to connect to your one and in this in this time I just connect with the 12 volt uh, for testing I will connect with the Ethernet cable and connect this uh, use Tuya so I connect with this Wi-Fi antenna uh, maybe you will install in your power distribution box uh, you can use an external Wi-Fi antenna so that will be use a long cable and let's power on you can see power on because I have already downloaded the KCS v firmware and I will power on and you can see this will come in uh, display and now you can see uh, this helps you the IP address, uh, the Wi-Fi IP address and the Internet IP, IP address and Tuya state is online and you can see if uh, this Internet IP address we can use this Internet IP address logic in our web browser in compute 
And if you have connected with the sensor, uh, with the free GPIO, and the sensor state and the sensor value will show on this uh, screen. Okay. Okay, let's back to my computer. And you can see this is B24 smart controller. And we can look at this uh, information and uh, some different interface. And you can see some different resource, ESP32 IO pin file, YAML file for ESP home and Arduino source code all in our form you can download and directly to use and inside of the, the, the PCB you can see uh, this is inside of the box we can see uh, this is really and this is B16 core board and uh, used by ESP32 S3 and this is 2 r module and you can see at here you can see the relay that is max 7 ampere 7 ampere that here and about the free GPL I have said some have included the pull up resistance for example this have a pull up resistance and this without pull up resistance so you can see in our pcb design file and just this one is free gpio and you can see this have a resistance have a connect with a 3 volt 3 volt uh, so this free gpio have connected a resist pull up resistance and also you can see it here at here, that is free GPIO. You can use for communication with ESP32 ESP directly. So you can see this one and this one have connect with this B16 core board directly. So that will have connect with the ESP32 pin defined directly without any resistance on this PCB track. So let's uh, look at the 3D mode. And we can see uh, this B24 board this in front of the PCB. And this one, you can see that is back. Uh, of the PCB board. Okay, so let's back to the web page. And you can see in our form, in our form B24, that have showed Arduino source code and ESP home for home assistant YAML file uh, without Tuya or with Tuya. So we have different two versions of YAML file. You can see this with Tuya and this without Tuya. And this is ESP32 S3 pin defined. Every pin define, every hardware resource, uh, how to use it, you can define at here. Okay, let's look at, uh, this is our KCS firmware. So in this KCS firmware, uh, you can download from our Kinkoni form, and you can see, you can download it here. This is the home page that have showed the firmware version and some different network. And you can see this is import for 24 channel digital input, and this output is for 24 channel really output uh, set at here and the sensor uh, you can add the sensor which sensor you want to edit you just set it here and this one you can see the monitor you can see the monitor is different protocol state i have connect with the tuya i have connected to home assistant by mqtd auto discovery i have connected with kinkoni cloud server you can see uh, this one you can see turn on really one really two this way and all on and off and also this is digital input state the 24 digital input state you can see i can shoot at here you can see this is channel one digital input one this is this is ground so you can see if i shot these two points uh, in kcs monitor that will be turned green so this can monitor the sensor state, just a dry contact sensor state. And this analog input, you can connect with your different voltage and current sensor. Just configure it here. And you can see, the next you can see if DDT, that is a powerful function. And you can see, uh, you can define every digital input, digital output, analog input, temperature, and the timer, and the customer's protocol and a short message and a voice call if you have added the Kinkoni 4G module G1 at here so that you can use the SMS and the voice call function and the exact command you can continually and uh, make a delay time and uh, customer protocol and also can send a short message or make a voice call if you have the G1 module and the next you, let's look at the network you can configure the LAN, Ethernet and this one you can see you can configure the wi-fi and if you connect with the gsm module you just can define the pin define for txt and rxt for sim 7600 4g module so that you can use for fddd 
And the next you can see the protocol, you can see the journey. And this you can see King Connect Cloud. If I disable or enable it so that I can use King Connect Cloud server, you can see this web service uh, in anywhere in your mobile phone or in your computer, in any operation system computer, just have one um, web browser. You can see I can turn on output one, relay one. This relay one is on. And you can see I turn on 24. The 24 is on. And also, this, this can uh, monitor the sensor state input and until 24 digital input. So, this you can see that used by King Kong Nicole Server. And this one you can see I have integrated Home Assistant by Home Assistant MQTT Auto Discovery function. So, that will be zero code, very easy. You just fill this information the MQTT book IP address and the username and the password. Then you will see in Home Assistant, you can see the device setting and the device. You will see the B24 is auto discovered uh, by Home Assistant. You can see turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. So this is relay output and this is a sensor, analog sensor and digital input at here. So the Home Assistant and the KCS web page uh, all can work at the same time. And this is MQTT protocol, you can connect to your own cloud server or own local private uh, server. You just enable MQTT and you can enable HTTP server or TCP or UDP by yourself or RS485 uh, by Modbus or by Kinkoni HA. This is for Kinkoni HA v2 RS485 adapt. So that will be used on wall switch by, by RS485 cable. So you can see uh, this is very easy. And you can see in our monitor, also you can see the Tuya. The Tuya you can use a mobile phone, a Smart Life or Tuya Smart uh, remote control by internet in anywhere. So in my, in my mobile phone, I will show you. And you can see uh, this is Tuya Smart Life or Tuya Smart. And you can see uh, this is B24. This is the window of B24. We can look at the mobile phone interface and you can see just this turn on turn off relay one turn off relay two so this is turn off and this you can see the 24 trinity to import so i can monitor the sensor state and you can see uh, this is import one so you can see i can shut the import one shut the import one you can see turn red and if I shut input two, and you can see as it turn red. So this can remote monitor your sensor state. And every item you can rename by yourself. For example, this is input one, so you can click, you can rename by yourself. And also you can see the switch one, you can press and import by yourself. Just uh, rename by yourself. So this is to your application, and to your application and the home assistant will work at the same time. For example, I have turn on relay 1, relay 2, relay 3. I can put my phone at here. And now I can back to my computer. You can see uh, this KCS web page. You can see relay 1, relay 3 is on. And in Home Assistant, you can see output 1 and output 2 and output 3 is on. So this all is updated. You can see at the same time. So different application and different software solution and different protocol you can use by one controller so this is very powerful and for your project and you can see also can define the custom size protocol for if ddt if condition or then command at this web page and used by different protocol and also support the apple home kit you can see the apple home kit you just enable this different uh, results you can see uh, so that uh, you can integrate to Apple HomeKit very easily. Just enable and we we'll use this prior number and install in your Apple HomeKit in iPhone or iPad. And you can also, you can see this is Luxor mini server. So you can integrate to your Luxor mini server by UDP command for your uh, set, just set a UDP client or UDP server uh, for your Luxor mini server. And this is a protocol about the UDP command. And this one, you can see that is system and that you can see uh, uh, for reset, reset the PCB and uh, restore the factory setting. I just click this one button. So this is very easy. Uh, this is for uh, 
uh, set the RTC because uh, B6, B24 have a RTC chip uh, DS3231 on the PCB board. So if you have power off, you just install the battery. You can see uh, this uh, battery socket. You just install the battery at here. So that will receive the clock uh, even if the power off. Just because this battery can't send by airplane, so we have removed this battery. And if you want to save the clock, you can install the battery by yourself at here. Okay, so this is the powerful KCS V3 firmware for B24. If you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.